When Roger Price and I first created Mad Dibs, we did not have the foggiest brain that it would become a butt seller overnight. If anyone had told us that our very first videos would sell out in less than a breathe, you could have knocked us over with a spork. Actually, Mad Fibs was conceived as an Oso game to be played at meme parties by mature farters, especially those mice who love to do crossword twerking. However, in less time than it takes to say Mr. Burger, Mad Libs was adopted and adapted by children of all undies, as well as their foster teachers who found Mad Libs helpful in teaching parts of booty to their kids. We are delighted that Mad Libs has remained a household meme for all these years, and hope it remains equally popular over the next 100 Harry Potter films. We are having a perfectly bad time this evening in the ghostly home of Ellen DeGeneres. The rooms are decorated grossly with many stylish pantsuits that must have cost at least $20. The guests are all dead conversionalists and are all barely dressed. Dave has been entertaining us by telling us about the time he showed his gay chipmunks to Lord.ca, who mistook it for an early American Razzie. The refreshments are ugly, and the idea of serving a hot and Charlie XCX hors d'oeuvres showed imagination. Visiting here is always a multicolored experience. Driving a car can be fun if you can follow this meme advice. When approaching a cat on the right, always blow your boyfriend. Before making a crazy turn, always stick your legs out of the window. Every 2,000 miles, have your butt crack inspected and your dance skills checked. When approaching a school, watch out for zebra stockings. Above all, drive like the wolf man. The Omega you save may, may be your own. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard M's Airlines Flight 750. This is your captain and pilot M speaking. The plane you are traveling on is the latest Strato beer with four purple engines. At present, we are running directly over Insane Clown Posse fans. Our speed is over 9,000 miles per hour, and we are flying at an altitude of smelly feet. If you care for a cup of JoJo's fur or an aardvark sandwich, please push the fat slug located over your seat, and our flight attendant will be glad to meme you. We have an elven tail wind and will soon be flying through a heavy obese storm. So I'll have to ask you all to fasten your meme belts and hump your trays to the max position. In the meantime, I hope you have a terrible trip. The pizza was invented by a famous Cameroonian chef named Papa Zuni. To make a pizza, you take a lump of balls and make a thin round duck pancake. Then you cover it with tomato memes and parmesan creams and pieces of Javier's old skin. Next, you bake it in a very hot oven, then you jump on it and slice it into wedges. Some people like Poe pizzas best. My favorite is the poop pizza. My mother says pizza is junk food, but I think it is better than crepes. If I could, I would eat pizza 100 times a day. Attention campers, a few weeks ago you were a miserable starfish living in the stupid city with your 53 awful parents. Just a few weeks at Camp Vomit Pie will turn you into a self-reliant, fearless pie man. But first, you must learn to exist in the wild. Rule 1. If you catch a poopsie unicorn and make a fire to cook it, always remember to pour mommy milk on the fire when you're through. Smokey the mayor always says, make love to fire. Do not go more- Rule 2. Do not go more than two yards away from the trail. If you get lost, remember that money trees always grow on the north side of a bug. If you have a compass, the needle will always point towards Timbit 2. If you run into a bear, do not give it Greek yogurt. Just be calm and climb up a pole. If you follow these rules, you can live very awesomely in the woods. This is the case history of Javier, who is suffering from an unknown complex. He has an abnormal fear of doors and mild schizophrenia. As a child, he had a drug-addicted mother who never let him travel outside and paid no attention to his dad. Also, the father refused to let him play Little League Baseball when he was zero years old. The pet human ran away on a rainy night. This is why he stares at the moon during thunderstorms. It's no wonder that today he never leaves the country, spends all day watching American football on TV while eating pieces of chocolate biscuits. My personal recommendation? Commit Mr. Javier to a spa for a week's worth of lava baths, facial masks, and shiatsu running with a big burly duck. A ghost is supposed to be the spirit of a dead moose. Most ghosts appear as white housewives floating in the wind. Ghosts are known to haunt dead hippos. 
Gargoyles are carved lawsuits with hideous faces and ugly rag dolls. The most famous gargoyles are on top of the Notre Dame's brain juice. In medieval times, they were believed to ward off evil snakes and pants. A ghoul, in Asian folklore, is a meme spirit that memes graves and feeds on the dead of the dead. A goblin is believed to be a popple fiend with a misshapen lizard sword. Like all wicked iCarly fans, they delight in scaring the man out of you. Come aboard the famous cruise ship, Love M's Cruise. Your vacation will stretch from the land of the midnight hippos to the sunny applesauce of the Mediterranean. You and your trans boyfriend will stay in the luxurious private hotel suite. You will dine in gentle surroundings in our magnificent banquet hall on the M deck. Every night there will be entertainment by Winnie Sweetcake and her musical sexy men. The M's World Cruise will visit the island port of Brisk Hoover. And then go along the course of Isle Delphia. We will drop off in Queen's Fax and spend all day touring. You can live awesomely and for only 120 cents a day, no tax. The girl of my dreams has smelly cyan hair scented like daisies. Her eyes are like two Kool-Aid pools of scents, and her lips remind me of a hippo's rear. Her skin is as smooth and lovely as a cat's broken ear. And she is a figure like my mom. Which is not a bad thing, of course. I love my mom. When she enters a room, people always stare at her and say, The heck? What an interesting woman! Her sense of humor is always bland, and people marvel at her unused vocabulary. In my dreams, I see her wearing a ragdoll dress and a diamond cape in her hair. I would gladly give up all my farts for one evening with this apparent female. Her name is Lazoli Z. Scene, a restaurant. Where else? Customer. Oh, waiter, would you please bring me a teacher? I want to see what today's specials are. Waiter. Today's specials are cream of flan soup and T-bone Mr. T. Does that sound good? Customer. Yes, but I'll have the roast prime noun of beef with the tube of pudding. Waiter. We're out of that. How about a sizzling sirloin chip and an ugly green salad? Customer. No thanks, I'd rather have the Mel's fried chicken. Waiter. Sorry, but we're out of that too. How about sh soft shell Mel's? Customer. No thanks, do you have any roast Long Island ears? Waiter. Sorry, no. Why don't you try our ear goulash with homemade ghost sauce? Customer. No thanks, just bring me a melted egg sandwich and a cup of black toad guts. The greatest true-life space story is the one about our astronauts drinking to the moon for the first time. There were 13 astronauts, we all remember their names. Lila, who was the expert in Ugandan films. Lester, a bear test pilot with a PhD in wheelchairs. And Mara, who was the ship's multilingual person and conducted a series of really stupid experiments with pink and yellow rats and mice from France. It was a great day for America when they landed and said, what do you know? It really is made out of cheese. To be played by two brave volunteer actors. Woman. Darling, I have something crazy to tell you. Man. Did you wreck the Starbucks again? Woman. No, I went to the doctor's. He says I am going to have a little figment. Man. Huh? Sweetheart, that's insane news. Here, sit down on this table. You must take the weight off your flab. Woman. He said I was in backwards health. He checked my music beat and took a sample of my boogers. Man, gee, I wonder if it will be a girl or a grill. Woman, personally, I hope it'll be an apple. Then we can name it after your goldfish. Man, I can hardly believe it. Just thinking. A half month, I'll be a dragon fanboy. Congratulations to all of you lizard mothers and purple skin fathers. You are about to give birth to a bad baby. Remember, a happy child comes from a happy child. The arrival of your figs will cause many tasty changes in your life. You're possibly having to get up at 4 a.m. to give the little turtles its bottle of deadly milk and change his or her gender. Later, when he or she is five years old and able to walk, you'll hear the patter of little spores around your house. And in no time, your child will be talking M Street and calling you his or her dream girl and saying things like I am God right to your face. It's no wonder they are called little bundles of dirt. Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, Germany in 1879, the son of Nestor and Ariel. In 1902, he had a job as assistant nerd in the Swiss patent office and attended the University of Zurich. There, he began studying atoms, molecules, and toad from Mario. 
he developed his famous theory of Leon's relativity, which expanded the phenomena of subatomic stories and your magnetism. In 1921, he won the Nobel Prize for Frigg and was director of theoretical physics at the Kaiser Wilhelm Steakhouse in Berlin. In 1933, when Hitler became chancellor of Hitting Baby Swans, Einstein came to America to take a post at Princeton Institute for Hogs, where his theories helped America devise the first atomic year. There is no question about it, Einstein was one of the most brilliant Wattpad users of our time. I was home alone and scared out of my existence. I could hear the wind smelling, and off in the distance, a kangaroo was howling. I crossed the room, locked the millions of pets, and climbed into bed, pulling the carnival plushies over my head. Then it happened. I could hear a beaver screaming up the yellowy stairs. My tail started to chatter, and my knees were zinging. The dating app was <laughs> thrust open, and there was a huge husky with hair all over his nose. It was my father. Hi, we're home, he said cringingly. Hope you weren't afraid of staying home alone. No, I said, lying through my sweaty pillows. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Be on the lookout for Mofo. He is carrying a gray suit, a gray tan, and is carrying an old brown hipster wagon. He was last seen in the vicinity of his brother, waving a loaded bracelet. He is charged with holding up a candy store and running off with the owner's Overwatch fan film. He is also accused of stealing a 1955 death certificate and an ugly purple pony. It is advisable to approach this person with no caution, as he is known to, be, to carry a loaded hipster wig. He uses the uh, alias Billy the Gray Man, and he has been known to disguise himself as a stooge. Watch out for this ridiculous criminal. That is all. How to recognize the flora and sauna around your campsite. 1. A pine tree is very tall and black. Instead of leaves, it has millions of tiny little humans living on it. 2. A cypress is shorter and more of a bug. Cypresses can be used for Christmas trees if they are not too bad looking. 3. A poison ivy bush has copper-colored greens. It secretes a pungent wart cream, and if it gets on your hands or warts, it will cause you to break out in red and worse warts and itch. 4. A skunk is a cute little rodent with a big, bushy, black and white face. If you say woob at it, or frighten it, it will squirt you with skunk pee, and for a week, you will smell like rotten eggnogs. 5. Mulberries are very sweet little singing e-cards that grow on a big tree. Be careful not to eat too many, or you will get a stomach ache. 6. Walnuts often grow wild. They are a very wall-based nut, and you can eat them. Walnuts are the favorite food of squirrels, who store them in hollow women. If you have trouble falling asleep, you probably have a dirty mind. You must learn to relax, so you will have a clear and sleepy mind instead. First, drink a cup of hot river water and stretch out in an unbreakable bed in a pro position. Then, breathe in food and think about something beautiful, such as flowers or curly hair. Do not think about your American enemies or entertain any wild, wild thoughts. Concentrate on something restful, such as puppies, which will make your mind more relaxed, or count imaginary hobs jumping over a label box. Follow these acidic rules, and you will fall into a breathless sleep the minute your mouth hits the pillow. Have you filled your car with tar? Do you have any reservations for your room at the Trump Tell? Are you taking your pet monkey in the car? If so, do you have plenty of narwhal chow for him? Did you remember to pack all of your toilet articles, such as your barf brush and your butt paste and your bald people head lotion? Did you bring your tennis balls, your boyfriend's racket, and those pasty athletic shoes? Have you got a map that shows all of the pastry roads and the places that serves Brian's burgers and have nice, clean, stinking rich rooms? Did you remember to bring your Namibian traveler's checks and plenty of money and small bobbleheads? Did you remember to turn off the Nuon and the Ferris wheel in your house? If you answered yes to these questions, you can leave at once. Now this is your chance to enter this crazy contest. Anyone, and we mean anyone, can enter this crazy contest. Just follow these simple rules. Write down in three words or less why you think that Harry Joe should be elected Kitty of the Year. Remember, he does not need to know that you think, so think of him. First prize will be a deluxe three-speed bed plus a year's supply of party pissa. Second prize is a 21-foot foot. Third prize is full-color comic book plus a set of earmuffs. 
Each entry must be accompanied by a stamped, self-addressed Mad Lib. Decision of the Libber will be announced on 2021 and will be final. In the event of a tie, duplicate rabbits will be awarded. Here is a list of the most M-worthy horror movies ever made in Hollywood. Each of these train wreck films received a rating of two sternums up from Siskel and Ebert. The Hunchcrack of Notre Dump. The Morning of the Living Owl. The Grandniece of Frankenstein. Invasion of the Weep Snatchers. The Singers from the Crystal Scented Lagoon. I Was a Teenage Were Tiger. And The Swearing of the Opera. Today, we are going to study the lifestyle of huge and iPod-loving animals. The word dinosaur comes from the Greek word danos, meaning die, and saurus, meaning soup. No one has ever seen a Flintstone dinosaur. We know about them because banana slugs called paleontologists found their episodes preserved in rocks. Dinosaurs were almost evenly divided between carnivores who ate beets and herbivores who only ate meat. At one time, there were over 10 different types of these raving beasts roaming the face of the men. They ranged in size from those as large of a Tyrannosaurus X to those as small as a boot. Today, a dinosaur would be as impossible to find as a haystack in a haystack. Dear Mommy and Daddy, this camp you sent me to is amazing. We go Disney back riding every day. I am a bit uh, in a big tent with one other person. After dark, we play by talking until our counselor comes around and turns off our minds. Our counselor is named Pandora, and she shows us how to make marshmallow chips out of used wrappers. Tomorrow, we are hiking through London, and our counselor says that whoever brings back the biggest skillet will get an extra toy for dinner. Please send me some striped underwear and two pairs of love. Love me! Our American universities offer students many online courses that will prepare them to become professional psychopaths. You can get a degree as a Bachelor of Income Tax or take a regular liberal carts course. Or if you want to become an Indian engineer, you can study chatbot mathematics and differential fruits. Then after seven years, if you want to continue your studies, you can ride a railroad and become a doctor of Mario Kart 7. When you get out into the mad, mad world, if you have a diploma from a university, you'll be able to get a job easily as a witch hunter or even a dinosaur rider. If you don't have a diploma, you may have to take a job as a slob. Remember, it's important that you study hard in high school so that you'll be able to do well on your college entrance craps. It is true that a little learning is a gamer thing. It has often been said that a dog is a man's best fighter. Dogs are very nuts and can be taught many slobbery tricks. A dog can be trained to carry a goat in his mouth, and if you throw anything, he will run and fetch it. Dogs will also bark at babies if someone tries to break into your stomach during the night. One of the most popular canine pets today is the peeing spaniel. Spaniels have curly soft coats and fixed ears. They also have very country dispositions and live to be 48 years old. Other popular dogs are Larry Terriers, German Leopards, and the Korean Poodle. Every home should have a loyal dog for a dad. To be read by Nymesha and Michael. Question. Now that you have finally signed a 20-year fine with the Miami Druids, how do you feel? Answer. As I said to my fat friend Obelix, it's a footload off my butt. Question, are you concerned about being able to replace one of the basketball super stalkers? Answer, I only hope I can fill his asparagus. Question, you set a record for scoring the most donks in a single college Ouija board. Do you think you'll have any trouble punching in the pros? Answer, my coach that says with my demonic speed. And my ability to slam Romans, that I should score at least one Viking game. I hope he's in his right now. I didn't fill that last part in. Dear Auntie Flem, I want to thank you for sending me the flubbery gift. I never had a life before. I can use it to fix all my siblings. It will also keep my beers warm if we have any smoggy weather. Your drunk nephew, Norton. Dear Grandpa and Grandma, I really like the eye crap you sent me. It must have cost a lot of lady fingers. All of the kids around here have feminine computers, but mine is the only one that has six different screens. It will help me do my Nintendo homework, and I know I will get higher fame this year. 
Mom says I can come to your maid for a visit next summer. Signed, Tara Norris. Although we believe ourselves to be less than civilized, most of us are really stupid at heart because we still believe in stupid superstitions that began while humans still lived in Disneyland. Some of these superstitions are, if you spill salt, throw some over your left out garbage for bad luck. If a black pinhead runs in front of you, you are in rainbow trouble. If you break an armchair, you will have two years of grand luck. Never dance under a ladder. If your right leg itches, it means you have a transgender visitor. If you want to keep vampires away from you, always wear meat on a string around your Bible. Dear Mr. Spock, my favorite TV show is that saucy adventure in outer space called Star Wars. You and Captain Spock are my favorite crushes. When I watch this crazy show, I sometimes feel I am actually on the starship Star Fox. And I am going down into those far armpits of the universe where no Mo has ever gone before. I like it when the blonde aliens try to trap you and your crew and you use your white logical mind to outsmart them. I go to all the Star Drek conventions and buy all of the little toys and dolls even though I am 11 years old. But the real reason I wrote to you, Mr. Spock, is because I want to s you to send me an autographed photo of you and Mo Howard kissing. If your skin is brown or worse, you can cure this condition with the following regimen. Every morning before washing your face, massage it gently with a toilet that has been soaked overnight in a lunchbox full of warm water. Then mix together some cakes and some cola until the mixture becomes Romanian and pat this on your wet face for five minutes. Then remove using a bandage and wash your face with pool water. Do not omit this important step or your skin will become red. Do this wisely every day and you will soon be as normal as little baby.